I'm here with Eric Kingdon, who is European Technical Marketing Manager for Sony Europe. How are you doing, Eric? I'm you've had a, very well, thank you. You've had a very busy uh, show here at uh, What Hi Fi. Absolutely. In fact, one of the most the nicest demonstrations we've had, especially with your with your qualia. Maybe you can uh, talk to our readers a little bit about uh, what you've been showing here at. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for that. Thanks for your kind comment as well. Well, what we wanted to do was to show essentially what a high definition home theater could be like for people and we decided we'd uh, base it around one of the uh, key new projector technologies that we have um, and now the projector in question is the Qualia 004 and the great thing about this model is it uses a SXRD panel system now that stands for silicon crystal reflective display and these are a true high definition panels there are three of them so it means that this product can display what we call in resolution terms a 1920 by 1080 image now those images in this demonstration we created have been derived from blu-ray and we showed two clips and i guess from the wows and the great looks from the audience everybody appreciated them especially the long lines of people waiting <laughs> yeah that's true yeah, I, th I guess the only thing we could have done better is have a bigger room but it's very kind of you to comment that way we appreciate it the, the, the quality is, as a projector is quite special for other reasons aside from this uh, silicon crystal reflective display technology which gives you really good contrast ratio um, it has very rapid response in other words the picture elements can switch state very quickly. Now that means that when you're watching a movie with lots of, lots of fast action, it looks very smooth. The result is it's much more like film. So it takes you again, you know, you, you're getting one step nearer a real home theatre experience. Now of course, one of the other things that's very important is colour rendition, skin tone. How blue is a blue sky? You know, do, do you look? Is it, is it really that tanned? That kind of thing. Well, that comes down to, in the sense of this projector, the bulb, because the bulb in this case is a Xenon. Now, why did we do that? Why didn't we use a UHP like a lot of other models? Well, we did it because the, the so-called spectral character of, of, the, of the lamp is very close to what natural sunlight is. So the result is the white balance, the skin tones, color rendition is beautifully natural. Um, now, the, the optical design of all the different uh, engine parts, in other words, that the pass, the optical pass in the projector are all uniform, they're exactly the same for red, green and blue. And as a result, if you look on a big screen, you know, 135 inch screen we're using here, it looks terrific wherever you look on the image surface. And because it's high definition, you can't see any screen door effect, you can see no line structure to the image. Again, it's getting you closer and closer to being you know, film like, like a real theater. And, and the real scoop here is what you've got behind you here. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Which is not on, well, it's not active, but it's uh, your Ruby. Maybe you can tell yeah, us a well, little bit about that because not, not a whole lot of people have really seen no, that. No, th th no, this is uh, a very, very, um, very astute of you to, to spot this little, little model in the corner. Now, we, we kind of call this model Ruby, and, and the name has stuck because somebody said to me once, well, it's so it's kind of kind of a, like a jewel, so <laughs> I suppose Ruby is the kind of affectionate name we have for it, and that's the name that's appeared on the internet. Um, but this projector, um, the VPL VPL W100, I think is the model number. That um, model is actually using the same panel technology. It's the same SXRD 1920 1080 panel technology that the Qualia 004 is based on. Now what we're talking about now is a domestic high quality video projector system that can deliver true HD images and not only that can deliver 1080 progressive scan images which to the kind of video file is the holy grail of video reproduction and again it has high quality design panel driving systems full connectivity for the latest sort of video sources and so on and you can mount it because of its size and shape quite comfortably in the home you can ceiling mount it or because it has quite a, a neat throw distance in terms of the distance the projector's got to be from the screen you know there's no excuse you can have this in a normal domestic condition and have a big screen and a proper home theater experience you can actually put it very close to the screen you can yeah i mean it depends on the screen size but 
what we try to do with this is, is take the know-how or what the skill and the knowledge we'd accumulated on a product where cost is no issue, where the, the only design criteria for the 004 was that um, you know, there are no compromises. And then look at how we can take that and bring that entertainment factor to everybody. And the price tag for this beauty? Well, price tag, that I can't tell you officially because the price tag is down to the dealer. But what I will say to you is you'd be very, very pleasantly surprised if you go in to a retailer. And do do that and take a demonstration. It's going to be more or less about a third the price of the other? Can we, can Whoa, we give well, that a, kind well, of a, little, <laughs> a little bit of a scoop I, I to think, our I readers? Think I think I'll leave that one to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and on the demonstration here, we've had yeah. the X90 ED speakers. Yeah, that's they're, right. They're, they're yeah. new, too. Yeah, well, these, these speakers we've been, uh, we developed over a period. And um, we wanted to show um, a complete Sony approach. Now, it's quite interesting because as a company, you know, we're a very big supplier of loudspeakers. But as a speaker brand, you know, there are tremendously good competitors' products out there. And we get quite a lot of um, interest shown in these products when we show, you know, a, a higher end loudspeaker. Now, as you can see from the design, there is a, an element in the design which isn't actually visible. Um, so I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about that. If you were to look inside this product, you'd actually see what was almost like an internal skeleton to this. And it's a special kind of double bracing design that sits within the cabinet to control vibration. And when you're talking about kind of a high-powered loudspeaker system in a, in a multi-channel home theatre application, um, you want the sound to actually, uh, shall we say, not have any cabinet coloration, not be restricted to the enclosure itself, but to hang in space to create that proper dynamic expanse of sound. So cabinet design Coloration control, vibration control, whatever you want to call it, is very important. Also is the material technology, you know, the Kevlar. We actually, believe it or not, experimented by using different coloured Kevlar. This sounds crazy, but we actually preferred this colour, and there's the reason why we chose it. And the tweeter itself, you'll notice on the top of them, is a, um, a rather smart logo saying ED. That stands for extended definition, which means to say that the speaker is capable of a frequency response into the very high range, around 70 kilohertz, which to a listener means a very, very natural high frequency response. So they're very good for music as well as a high powered home theater system. Eric, it's been a real pleasure to have a nice technical explanation of all these products. Uh, uh, they're all, they're going to be in the stores except the Ruby. So uh, well, you can, <laughs> our readers can go see them. Uh, thanks again. And, you're, very, uh, you're very welcome. It's a great pleasure to meet you and to have a chance to talk to you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Pleasure is ours.